what is going on guys you guys haven't heard from us or well me in a while um, we have videos we just have been super busy with um, schoolwork and stuff and we just haven't uploaded them um, but I'm gonna try to film today um, I'm gonna go to Walmart real quick because that's the closest place I can get tackle um, I'm gonna pick up a couple things show you guys what I got and then we're gonna go out and try for some native rookies um, I have been fishing lately, but I have a photography class that I have to take pictures for, so I haven't been filming. Instead, I've been um, taking pictures with DSLR. Um, but yesterday, I should have filmed, but I didn't. Um, I did really well. I caught, in a different river, I caught 13 natives, um, brookies, and three sea run brookies, and three salmon. So. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go back to that river today because I was there yesterday and I don't want to pressure it too much. Um, but I will catch you guys when we are at the spot. See you later. Alright guys, I apologize for the wind noise for a second. I'm in the middle of a farm field. But I didn't make it to the spot. But I found this river on the side of the road when I was driving there. I don't know what river it is. But um, yeah, I found this river on the way here on the way to the spot and I caught a fish I left it in the water but I caught that better not be poison ivy but I caught a fish I'll show it to you guys in just a second this was my first drift and I caught this brook trout god that is wow that is absolutely gorgeous. Holy crap. Wow. That is beautiful. But um, unfortunately, I have to go bring back the car to campus because my girlfriend it's my girlfriend's car and not my car. And her parents want to look at it. So yeah, I'm just going to take a quick picture of this guy. Maybe do one more drift and head on my way because maybe I'll get back out later. I want to take a picture of this fish real quick. God, it is gorgeous. Gorgeous fish. I don't have pliers, so I think I'm just going to cut the line. But there you go. Beautiful main fish. I think this is stocked. I don't think this is wild. I'm pretty sure it's stocked. So there we go. There's one, I guess. All right, guys. Um, I went back to campus for a little bit. Um, had to go see my girlfriend because she wanted to have her car back for a second. So we are back three hours later. Um, different spot. You know, I don't know where I'm going um, at all. But All right, guys. This looks like the spot to me. This indeed does look like the spot to me. Yep, this is it. My question is, where am I gonna fly fish? Because this is all, I mean, I could probably go over there or right there in the water, but um, wow, it's pretty, but we'll get into it. You see that tadpole right there? That's pretty sick. He just came up and just came right up to me. I just saw a trout rise, by the way, too trout rose over there so I might have to go over there because this looks pretty shallow and on Google Maps this is dried up in the summertime so you know, I have to maybe make a move I'm putting on a rooster tail just because it's really really um gonna be oh, there goes tadpole it's gonna be really hard to uh, cast a worm or anything like that out here but I definitely want to fly fish if I can all right that should work. Let's try it. Um, I'm in a bad spot to cast, but first cast. Here we go. A trout just rose right there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh my god, this is silly. There's so many fish in here. There's so many fish in here. They're attacking it. I'm pretty sure I just got bumped like three times. I'm pretty sure. Let's see if anything follows it in. No, I'm almost certain I just, oh, what? Yo, there's, 
Right, what are those? Minnows? Those baby brook trout swimming around? I don't know what those are that just swim around, just around me just now, but... I thought I just got bumped like three times. It could just be super shallow out there that I don't know about, but... Oh my god, there's fish rising everywhere. There are fish rising literally everywhere. All over there, though. Not not in front of me, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to make a move, but... Could have sworn I got bumped a couple of times, but I really don't think that was fish. I think that was just... Just my lure bumping something on the bottom, maybe. Yeah, no. It's not, it's not a fish. Got me excited, though. So yeah, I guess we'll uh, guess we'll go over there because that's where I saw the fish rise, a couple of them. But see, then you see that, and then you're like, "What was that?" You know. There is a good hatch today, so very likely chance that I'm gonna be have to be fishing. Oh my god, I just had one! I just had one! I just had one. It was small. Whatever it was, it was small. Across this beaver dam here. Cross this over. I just saw a sign that says this is a self-sustaining native brook trout pond. The sign said no live fish, which I do not have, so we are good. All right, guys. Since I can't backcast here, I'm gonna throw out a little tiny panther martin. It's a lot smaller than the other spinner I had before, so we're gonna see how they react to this instead. A lot smaller than the other ones, so. See if they're more adept to hit this instead. I got a really aggressive big strike on the other one. He just missed it. They're still rising everywhere. There we go. Oh my god, I lost it. I lost it. Guys, I'm hooked up. It is absolutely microscopic. Absolutely micro. I'm gonna grab the net here. And it is a native. Target acquired, barely hooked. There you go, guys. Beautiful native trout. Beautiful. I don't care about size. I mean, a bigger one is nicer, but there we go. See you, buddy. Hey guys, I just hooked up on a nice one here. On a little tube. Real nice one. Come on in the net. There we go. Wow. That's beautiful. I'm going to have to get a picture of that one. Phone should be unlocked. Grab a picture of this guy right here. Come here, come here, come here. Stop, stop, stop resisting. Stop, stop. Show you guys what I caught him on real quick here. Little tube jig. Corner of his mouth, like always. And we'll get a nice little picture of this guy here. There he goes, on his merry way. All right guys, I hooked up immediately going to spinning. So I will be spin fishing because I, I'm having fly difficulties right now. My fly rod's just being stupid because I've got a wind behind me that's pretty strong. But there's another native right there. Hands wet. Be calm, be calm with me. Another beautiful native, beautiful native trout. Got a follower now at least. A follower on it. Not anymore. It was. There he is. Stay on, buddy. Stay on. It's a little guy. My net's in my bag, so we're just gonna. There he goes. But he's right there. You guys can see him. He's right there. Alright, guys. Um, haha, <laughs> I didn't have my camera on. 
I just caught two fish, two more fish. And, uh, yeah, no camera, so, uh, my bad. I just missed one. Problem is with these worms, too, is that I can't cast far. Probably gonna have to recast that. Down. The butt's gonna end up getting wet. There's a fish on it right now. This one feels good. This one does feel good. This one feels real good. I can't see it, but uh, that's a good one. Wow. That's a good one, all right. I'll have to uh, power on my phone for this one. Grab my net. That's a real good one there. All right, my phone on. Nope, I'm gonna power it on then. All right guys, my GoPro just died. Like I said it would, but very, very, very nice native there. I'm gonna get the release. Come here, buddy. Very nice native. Very. Bye bye. Alright, guys, I just landed another one right here. Don't mind me, I'm sitting on the ground right now. Uh oh, Rod's gonna go. But my GoPro died, so there's not much I can do for filming right now because this is just like sit and wait. And then I've got no one to film me, so there you go. Very, very beautiful native there. Very. All right, guys, I just landed a third one. That's the third one in five minutes. Another native brookie. Beautiful fish. Gonna get a release. All right, guys, I wish I had my GoPro going right now because look at that fish. Wow. I keep catching them nonstop too. That's beautiful. For the release. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing here, okay? I'm gonna cast this worm out. Like that. I'm gonna watch, you ready? I'm watching my line. I'm watching my line. There's one right there. This one's smaller. But I'm sorry I can't film this on GoPro. I don't have an extra battery. But um, there's another one. I'll show it to you guys in a second. Just wanna get the hook out of them. There you go. There's a little native right there. Beautiful. Release. Beautiful. One more fish and then I'm gonna turn it off because I cannot afford to have my phone die out here where I don't know where I am. Like I literally don't know how to get home. Like I don't know how to drive home. It's like I don't know where I am. With the worm out there. Watch my line. Watching it like a hawk. There we go. There's one. A little squirrely guy. A little squirrely guy. He's not little, I can tell you that. Oh, he, he well, he's small enough to go through the net, that's for sure. He's small enough to go through the net. Right in the top lip. And after this fish, I'm, shut I'm shutting off my phone because it's not looking good for phone battery. There we go. Nice little native there again. Shutting off my phone after this, guys. I'll catch you later. Alright, guys. Look at that one. That is a giant native brook trout right there. Giant. 
Um, I've caught like 10 trout since I've last talked to you guys, so uh, this one's going to be my last one. I'm going to pack it in after this. Sorry, I'm shaking, guys, but it's a giant, giant native. Send her back. I'm packing in after that. What is going on, guys? So, to wrap up the video here real quick. Wow. Um, it was a rough start. It was a rough start. Um, I don't know how many fish I caught on GoPro. Um, I've also missed a couple, too. Uh, like, I forgot to record. Um, but, I, um... As soon as the GoPro turned off, it was just boom, 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 fish after fish after fish. I caught 30, 40 natives. Um, one was massive. Um, absolutely unreal. Unreal, unreal fishing. And I wish I could have captured the last part of that on GoPro. Um, but I do have some videos. I did have to save my phone better because I was on 5%. I don't know where I'm going, so... I had to save my phone battery. Uh, that's ultimately important to me. So, all right. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll catch you in the next video.